sincere thanks to Dr. Hillman for inviting me to deliver lectures or to conduct a workshop here. I am feeling great pleasure as I have got this opportunity. Directly, we will talk about data analysis. Data. We will discuss in detail about data analysis. We will proceed very slowly. We will discuss minimum of 20 techniques, 15 or 20 techniques. We all know that for data analysis, statistical techniques are required. Without the application of statistical technique, it is not possible to analyze the data. To understand in a better way, we divide all statistical techniques into two parts. Parametric statistics and non-parametric statistics. All statistical techniques are divided into two parts, parametric and non-parametric statistics. To analyze data, we can apply parametric statistics also, we can apply known parametric statistics also. But to apply parametric statistics, there is a long list. We will discuss in detail about all the parametric techniques. But to apply parametric statistics, some assumptions should be fulfilled. Without fulfilling the assumptions, we cannot apply parametric statistics. We should keep in our mind, there are some assumptions. And these assumptions should be fulfilled to apply parametric statistics. Then the question arises. Should there be a process of question answering between? Like the yes, yes. The delivery will be of two-way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This will be of two-way process. Okay. So, you may ask any time, in between, that will be better yeah. and we can proceed in an efficient way. To apply parametric statistics, the two assumptions should be fulfilled. First one is scale of measurement. Only there are four scale of measurements. We may collect the data by using these four scales of measurements. First one is nominal scale. Second one is ordinal, ordinal scale. Third one is interval scale. And last one is ratio scale. We may have data only in four possible scales of measurements. Let us start with the nominal scale. We are discussing this since we are going to analyze data by using parametric as well as non-parametric statistics. So, if this assumption is fulfilled, then we can apply this technique. Otherwise, I had to apply parallel non-parametric technique. So, let us start with the first nominal scale. What do you mean by nominal scale? Nominal scale means when the data is in frequency or count. Based on questionnaire studies, especially these types of studies are conducted in the field of psychology, mm -hmm. in the field of management. For example, number of mail, that will be a discrete series, 10, 12. It's not possible the number of mails is 4.5. Number of emails, number of pass, number of agree, number of disagree. So, these are in discrete series, in a whole number. On the other hand, ordinal scale, when we are unable to measure the data in a numeric value, suppose I am asking to you, what is a beauty of a particular individual? You can't say he has 10 kg or 10 cm beauty. We can say that he or she has above average beauty. So beauty is, a, beauty is an example of ordinal scale. It means, another example may be severity of pain. We have to express severity of pain in an order, in a descending or ascending order. It means we can express ordinal scale only in an order by using percentiles, by using deciles, by using quartiles. Third one is interval scale. Interval scale means having same intervals in between but has no fixed zero. For example, anxiety, aggression, affiliation, achievement, motivation. Suppose he is having anxiety of 10, 
in a numeric value and you are having the anxiety of 20, can you say you have you have just double anxiety, yes or no? Yes. No, you can't say. Since anxiety has no origin, suppose in a hypothetical example, you have a 3 feet height, he has a 6 feet height, then we, in this case we can say that he is just double taller than you, since height has a fixed zero. Yeah. So, anxiety is an example of interval scale, means having same intervals in between but has no fixed zero. On the other hand, ratio scale is the scale having a fixed zero, height is an example of ratio scale, anxiety is an example of interval scale. So, we are concluding something. To apply parametric statistics, at least interval and ratio scale is required. We cannot apply parametric statistics in case of nominal scale and original scale. We can't apply. Um, what, is the, what is the accuracy level of assumptions here? These are 100% accurate. We will test. There are tools and techniques by using that. We can test the assumptions. We will discuss later. These are the minimum required assumptions. Otherwise, we can't proceed. Second assumption is normality. The data should be normally distributed. We know that. We conduct different researches by taking a sample, a subset of the population that is known as sample. And we know that population is always normally distributed. Population is always normally distributed. So the sample should represent the population in the same way. Otherwise, the results cannot be generalized. To generalize the results, the sample should truly represent the population. The normal probability means having the maximum concentration of the scores at the center and the frequency tapers at both the ends. Let us take an example of intelligence. If we measure the intelligence of the students of the, this university, with a high intelligence will be few, with low intelligence will be few, majority lies in between. This is the, in any case, in height, weight, blood pressure, anxiety, aggression, affiliation, income. So, first, we should test the scale of measurement and normality. To test the scale of measurement, no specific tool is required. By your, by your own knowledge, we can find out, yes, this lie in interval scale, nominal scale, ratio scale, or ordinal scale. But to test the normality of data, we have to apply different statistical tools. So we will discuss about different statistical tools which are used to test the normality. Okay. Again, I repeat. We divided statistical techniques into two parts. Our final conclusion is to apply parametric, parametric statistics, at least interval and ratio scale is required, but non parametric statistics can be applied in any scale of measurement. Second is to apply parametric statistics, normality of data is required, but non parametric may be applied in normal or non-normal distribution. Now, our main part <coughs> is how to test the normality. First, we... One yes. more question is like, um, uh, to do this, all these things, we need to generate data somehow, right? Yes. So, so this is uh, the fundamental criteria. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, this takes place after the collection of data. After the collection of yes. data. Yes. And how do we... Uh, uh, validate those data. Does mm -hmm. do we also discuss these areas or is yes, yes. Okay. Uh, how you validate things? How do we, for example, you just told about the anxiety.
height level of a person. Yes. Uh, one has a 10, we, one we has have, a 5. We have to use a standard tool mm -hmm. and you will find validity as well as the reliability of that particular tool. See, this much is the validity, this much is the reliability. Mm -hmm. We have to collect data on the which of standardized questionnaires. Mm -hmm. Already, validity and reliability is are established. Mm -hmm. okay. So, our first step should be how to test the normal data. Directly, we are starting from the first step. We identified problem, we formulated hypothesis, we collected data, but now we have to analyze data. So, how to test normality of data? Now, my lecture starts. How to test the normality of data? There are three different ways. B1, B2, B3. By using that, we can test the normality of data. First one is descriptive statistics. Second one is QQ plots. Third one is formal test. There are three ways by using that we can test the normality of data. What do you mean by descriptive statistics? What do you mean by descriptive statistics? Measures of central tendency and measures of variability are known as descriptive statistics. Mean, median, mode, range, quartile deviation, mean deviation, standard deviation, skewness, Theodosis, these measures comes under the category of descriptive statistics. But we are going to use a descriptive statistics to test the normality of data. So all the descriptive measures are not required. Out of all descriptive measures of the descriptive statistics, only four are required. First one is skewness. It means we have to calculate the skewness. Now, what do you mean by skewness? We will discuss. And this is denoted by capital S and small k skewness. We require second descriptive measure standard error of skewness. We require standard error of skewness. Then we re require kyotosis and the kyotosis is denoted by capital K and small u kyotosis. We require standard error of kyotosis. These four majors are required to test the normality of data if we are using descriptive statistics to test the normality. Now, do you have any idea about skewness and kyotosis? Yes or no? Long time back. Long time back. Okay. It was gone totally almost. Okay. We have discussed that the data should be normally distributed. This is a normal curve. Mm -hmm. We know that means having maximum concentration of the score at the center and the frequency tapers at both the end. Qness measures the symmetricity of data. Symmetry of data, symmetricity means both the sides should be equal. Mm -hmm. Skewed data means mm -hmm. it means so that is elongated towards one side. It means elongated towards in this more number of subjects lie towards positive side, both the sides are not equal, that measures the symmetry. Both the sides should be same in normal curve. Okay. This process 
measures the flatness of the curve. This optimal flatness is required, but this may be. It means all lie in between. No highly intelligent having higher score or not negative scores. So we have discussed that skewness measures the symmetricity of data, and kurtosis measures the flatness of the data. In case of the skewness, in case of the symmetricity, only two divergences may be possible. Two defects of a normal curve. For example, suppose we see um, uh, this curve uh, yes. in any scientific reports. Yes. Um, if it is skewed like this, uh, what would be our conclusion? For example, very general conclusion. We yes, don't yes. have any data or anything. It means uh, your uh, sample is not representing population. Population is always, it is established fact that population is always normally distributed. It means your data are scattered more towards positive side. Okay. This is the defect. Mm -hmm. Okay. If your sample is not representing population, in that case we cannot generalize the results. Okay. So that would mean a huge error. Yes, that, is, okay. that may be considered as error of the study. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one. It means in case of skewness, two defects are possible: positively, positively skewed or negatively skewed. In this, also there may be two defects: peaker than the normal or flatter than the normal. Okay. How to conclude? Suppose we collected data on 200 subjects. You have 200 subjects, and you collected data. And by the help, you calculated skewness, you calculated standard skewness, you calculated, calculated kurtosis, and you calculated standard error kurtosis. How we will decide that data is normally distributed or data is not normally distributed? In that case, we should discuss about the standard error. What do you mean by standard error? What do you mean by standard error? Uh, deviation from the normal. Deviation on the normal. normal. It means every individual is bound to have some error. Hmm. In the same manner, every statistical technique is bound to have some error. That is considered as a standard error. Hmm. Suppose this is the value of skewness and this is the value of skewness. Standard error skewness. If the value of skewness is less than the standard error, it means that is normally distributed. Hmm. Otherwise, data are not normally distributed. Agree. Same will be concluded in case of kurtosis. The value of kurtosis should be lower than the value of the standard error of kurtosis. We will proceed to the next part of QQ blocks. This concept is applicable in every scientific research. We are discussing about we are not discussing about the literature researches, we are discussing about the scientific approach of the research. Next one is QQ plots. In descriptive statistics, only four measures are required, and we have discussed this value should be less than this, this value should be less than this, and the QQ plot is a. One more question is like uh, when we were we were trying to see the error deviation in a real life situation, we are depending on this normally distributed standard curves. Then. Yes, hundred uh, percent. Okay. Otherwise, otherwise, our sample is non-normal. Our sample is non-normal means our population is also non-normal. QQ plot. QQ plot is a graphical representation to show the normality graphically. It is a graphical method to test the normality. We know that we have axis, y axis, zero origin. A standard line is required that is generated by a software. And all the scores should be scattered near to this line. All the scores should be. If all the scores are scattered near to this line, it means normality is there. If all the scores are not scattered to near to this line, it means non normality. 
we have three methods descriptive statistics to test the normality q2 plots to test the normality formal test to test the normality we have discussed about first two methods formal tests are constructed only to test the normality there is no other use it means there are four different types of formal tests which are in practice which are generally used by researchers first one is we will write in detail during the uh, discussion or during the analysis first one is kolmogorov smirnov test kst test second one is shapiro wilk test third one is anderson darling test last one is ryan joiner test we will calculate or we will we will do analysis by using two different softwares microsoft excel that is also available on that and by using spss statistical package for social sciences just one question why we are uh, normally uh, in my experience uh, yes. most of the thing can be easily done in excel sheet yes uh, normally day to day life even the business cases but why we are adopting too much into spss in scientific world which is uh, all, all functions are not all functions are not available in excel mm -hmm. first thing is that and second the output of spss is more detailed you will find you will find the difference you will decide at your own okay. why we are using spss instead of excel you will explain so we started our discussion from the title how to test the normality and there are three different methods descriptive statistics qq plots and formal test now one more addition testing no we we are having three methods testing normality depends on the sample size testing normality depends on the sample size it means same it is the most important point same procedure can not be adopted in every sample size earlier the concept was of small sample and large sample if we conduct a study on the subjects less than 30 that is considered as small sample if we conduct the study on 30 or more than 30 subjects that is considered as a large sample this concept has been changed by the statisticians as per the latest literature instead of two sample sizes that is small sample and large sample there are three different sample sizes small sample moderate sample and large sample the concept of small sample is same less than 30 considered as a small sample if we conduct study in between the subject 30 to 100 considered as a moderate sample size and instead of 30 this is more than 100 so we have three different levels the three different sample sizes. It means my sentence was testing normality depends on sample size. It means to test the normality for less than 30 will be different. Mm -hmm. If if we are going to conduct a study on the subject in between 30 to 100, the methodology to test the normality will be different. <clears throat> and for large sample size, this will be different. Uh, here the sample size does it mean the total populations or is the number of questioners or no 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 the number of respondents respondents okay number of participants okay number of subject means number of subjects included in your study yes 
Suppose you are you are going to collect data on an anxiety, and you collected hundred hundred people, hundred subjects filled your questionnaire. Yeah. That means the sample size is yes. Uh, not about the list of uh, samples that you get. List of, for example, uh, how is your food habits and how no, no, you no, sleep, no. all those things. No, that's not sample size. These are responses. That's responses. Responses. Because normally people also get confused. This as a sample and no 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 the sample means total number of participants. Okay. Participated in a particular study. Next one is now we should discuss. Let us start with the first testing normality of small samples. Testing normality of small samples. You may write a single sentence, there is no need to test. Always assume that data is non-normal. It means if the data is non-normal, it means small size. Small size. It means we can't apply statistics. Which statistics? Parametric statistics. We have to apply non-parametric. We have to apply non-parametric. We can't apply parametric. Can we? I just missed it right in the very beginning. Now I'm getting back. How do we separate this non-parametrics? Uh, how do we uh, have the result of non-parametrics test? For example, small sample size. Yes. We will discuss in detail. Okay. We, we started. But okay. We will discuss about parametric statistics also in detail. We will discuss about non-parametric statistics in detail. Okay. But first we will go there. Only we are discussing when to apply parametric and when to apply non-parametric. Our uh, issue of discussion is only this. Okay. Okay, it means for parametric statistics, first we have to see the scale of measurement. It means only two scales of measurement in interval and ratio. In nominal scale and original scale, we cannot apply parametric and the data should be normally distributed. And here our conclusion is if less than 30, there is no need to test. Always assume that is, uh, data is non-normal. Non then we can't apply parametric. Yes. Second one is second point should be. Testing normality of moderate sample size. Testing normality of moderate sample size. How many techniques are available to test the normality? Three. Three. Descriptive statistics, QQ plot, and formal test. Then the question arises: which technique should be used first? The sequences suggested by the statisticians, the experts of statistics. We are going to test the normality of moderate sample size. Out of these three techniques, first apply formal test. First apply formal test. What will be the result? What will be the result? Yes or no? Yes or no? The technique will tell, tell it's normal. Or the technique will tell it's no. non normal. Okay. First apply formal test. If the answer is no, it's, it's non normal. Accept the results. Leave it. Okay. If the technique is saying yes. it's normal, then do not rely 100% on this. Cross test by using remaining two methods. Cross test by remaining two methods. If all the three methods say it's normal, then accept the results. Clear? Now, third point is testing normality of large sample size. Large sample means more than 100. What will be the sequence? First apply formal test in the same manner and the answer will be Yes or no? In this case, if the answer was yes, then what we did? QQ plot or? Yes, we cross tested mm -hmm. by using this and this. If in this case, the technique says yes, normal distributed, there is no need to cross test. 100% rely on this. Why? You may write a single sentence. These formal tests are very accurate in case of large sample, 
and these are very sensitive in case of what moderate is, no we are not discussing about moderate 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 sample size okay if the answer uh, if the answer is yes we accept the result if the answer is no test the other one then cross test by large sample can't be non normal so there may be outliers there may be exceptional scores in between we should remove that exception score suppose suppose we are doing a study on the to find out the effect of morning open blood pressure suppose and you collected blood pressure and we tested the normality so all subjects are having the same normal blood pressure one is having the severe blood, blood pressure that is 200 250 due to that single individual the distribution is disturbed so we have to remove that outlier we have to remove that particular stone score okay now we will discuss by using different this we are starting from excel we are starting from excel and you will get all answers to why we are using spsl why we are not using it's always my question because i use this yes yes it's a good question yeah. it's a it's a, um, a logical question we by the way if you would like to drink something you can no no there is no need it's still uh, just started just started see I can we also say that the formal tests are very precise for moderate sample size or these are sensitive for moderate sensitive, sample sensitive. size sensitive mm -hmm. and these are accurate mm -hmm. in case of large sample yes yeah. now we are discussing about the main part uh, you stop it make it easier suppose we are we collected data on 50 subjects suppose we are going to test the probability by using all three methods by descriptive statistics by qq plots and by formal test okay it could be only for the moderate qq no no ha huh, that that's moderate sample yeah. the methodology will be same for moderate as well as same for only we have to decide by using the different method the calculation will be same same okay we all we all work on excel yeah suppose click on this data here there is no data analysis how to activate the statistical package is hidden here google macro in a simple we can new excel sheet in any in both it's available okay so all the functions are same in excel 2003 yes more or less how to activate go here go to menu go to options there are options see there are options there are options down click on options yeah. click on options after clicking on options go to add ins 
there is headings this is different click suppose click on ok no this is different click on options use this not in quick access to general say backup check calculation system color checking where is headings Customize river is also there's no headings. This is different in this. Suppose we are doing in this menu options. It's different. This software is different. How to activate? You are having that? I'm having it. Yes. But you don't have it? No. It's different in this. But you deleted it or what? No, I didn't delete. Or the full the or the full screen is not shown. But on your on your on your laptop you don't see it? You don't have data analysis? No. How come? I don't have data analysis pack. But I've got it at add-ins, add-ins, but you didn't find add-ins. Madam, your computer is open? Mm -hmm. No, this is, you are using your laptop or this computer? No, uh, no, not this computer. Yeah. How do you do? Maybe the third way is open Excel sheet, open Excel sheet. Okay. Yes, click here. Yes, click on Excel options. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, it's useful. Click on add ins. Uh, yes, yes. Yes. Click on NSS tool pack. Go. Select only one. OK. Yes. This is the project. This will appear here. Click on data. Then only it comes. There, then only it comes. Okay. Uh -huh. You can like how to activate the hidden software. How to activate the hidden software. But this is different in this. I don't know why. I never saw this. Can uh, dictate me. We'll go to data. What did you do? We will directly type. We will di type uh, anxiety scores. We will formulate. Yeah. No. Uh, how to find your options? Where did you find it? I was not looking. Where you here. Did it. Here it is. Show me. Sh show some. Not there. Let's see. Mm -hmm. No, I've got it anyway. I've uh, started one here. And yeah. then I Excel options. Go to home, yeah. Then go to or not home here. What is the name of this one? Go to yeah. Go to go to. Yeah. Yes. Uh, this home is different, but this uh, will be beneficial for you. I'll come back uh, because I have to go and get my laptop. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. How much time will it take? It will take um, maybe twenty minutes. Okay. Mm. Because. I can't use these computers. I don't have access to these computers. I'm not a regular PhD oh. here. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I'll be back. Okay. We will wait for oh. two. Okay. Then stell it here hin. Dann zieht man so auf. We will do here only. Yeah, yeah. Go Click here. On. And then Excel options. Yeah. 
then add-ins analysis tool pack then go and then we should select analysis tool pack and then okay okay maybe like yeah mm -hmm. okay go to explore and click on explore okay see is it okay now bring this speed into dependent list bring this speed into dependent list mm -hmm. is it okay now go to plots mm -hmm. and opt for select for this normality plots with the test select for opt for normality plots with test click on continue click on Continue. Ensure that by clicking on X statistics. Time. I've got option. Again I repeat it. I'm in the wrong thing. I'm in the wrong thing. Analyze. See, see, go to analyze. Go to descriptive statistics. Yes, yes. Go to explore. Yes. Click. Ah okay, then that was wrong. Bring this speed into dependent list. Is it okay? Yeah, then plots. Okay, I've got plots. Plots, I'm selected plots, that. normality plots with test. Continue. And ensure that in statistics, this descriptive is not opted. Ensure this. Mm -hmm. It's already. In plots, we don't have to click anything, or what? No. No, or then I don't have to go there. On? In plots. Yes, plots, we have to take on this normality plot with test. Yeah. We have to click on normality plot with test. Oh, okay. Then continue. Okay. Click on OK. Click on OK. Now listen. From where we have to start? Out of three, for the, we have discussed first apply for the test. First apply? Mm -hmm. Go to Kolmogoro Smirno test and Shapiro will test. Go to that test. Yes. As per the Kolmogoro Smirno test, significant normality is there, but I hope you have an idea how to test the significance level. Yes or no? You have an idea? No. no. What is significance level? How In important. Your... No, 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 not how important. Signif that is a, you are uh, telling about the dictionary meaning. We are not dis uh, talking about dictionary meaning, significance. Significance in the language of research. Mm -hmm. Significance level is an imaginary line that differentiates that the occurrence of event is by chance or not by chance. Mm -hmm. Suppose in engineering, you establish the model, are you sure it's 100% accurate? Mm -hmm. No. Your confidence level is either 95% or 99%. Yeah. If you are conducting your study at 0 0.01 level, it means you are 99% confident. If you are conducted at 0 0.05 level, it means you are 95% confident. If this value is, if this significance value is less than 0 0.05, yes, it is significant. Everywhere. But engineers believe that since we conduct our studies in controlled conditions, so this value should be less than 0 0.01. In medical sciences also. But in social sciences and humanities, they take this 0 0.05. Since engineers believe that we are 99% confident, mm -hmm. and social scientists believe that we are 95% 95% confident. Mm -hmm. So this shows that yes, this is significance. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now next, Q2 plot. Now next is Q2 plot. See the Q2 plot. See Q2 plot. This. Mm -hmm. 
see here. This is QQ plot. This extended line is generated by the software. Mm -hmm. And I told earlier that all the scores should be scattered near to this line. Mm -hmm. If all the scores are scattered near to this line, it means data are normally distributed. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, data are not normally distributed. Is it okay? Next is these four measures. In the first table, go to first table. Excel output gave only two. Yes, yes, yes. This one, see. This is the value of skewness. Mm -hmm. It is its standard error. This is the value of Kyoto's. Yes. This is standard error. Mm -hmm. One concept was that both the values should be less than one. one. Second concept was, second concept is, this value should be less than this, this value should be less than this. As per that concept also, that our requirement is fulfilled. As per this concept also, our requirement is fulfilled. It means, since all the three methods for one test, QQ plot, descriptive statistics, these prove that data are normally it means we can apply parametric statistics to test our results. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> so this is first prerequisite. In every research, in every quantitative research, we have to test the normality. <laughs> okay. Like without saying saving, I am I am not saving these data and we are going to make these data abnormal. Mm -hmm. These are 30. It is very, very easy to see. I am making this abnormal, non-normal. Right. Instead of 78, write 778. We close this without saving. Yes. 78, 778. Okay. And on 15th, anywhere, on 15th, instead of 50, 86, at 15, at serial number 15, 860. These are two exceptional scores in the distribution. 75, 860. 860. Yes. And top you did? 778. Yes. Okay. We have made it abnormal. abnormal. Go to analyze, same. Go to descriptive. Go to yes. And click on OK. Already, they already opted. And of C. No need to see anything. Go to that QQ plot. Go to that QQ plot. QQ plot. It is everything is abnormal. You see, this standard line requires some scattered behavior. These two scores, these two outliers, these two exceptional scores destroyed the distribution. Mm -hmm. It means in this case we cannot apply parametric. Not only in engineering researches but in every quantity. In engineering I think 100% researches are quantitative researches. Mm -hmm. No, I, I think you don't conduct any qualitative research. Mm -hmm. You conduct any quantitative researches based on numeric data. Mm -hmm. So for every quantitative research, the testing normality before applying any statistical technique is essential to decide whether we are going to apply parametric or no parametric. Okay, yes. Now we have discussed in detail how to test the normality by using both the softwares MS Excel and SPSS. Okay. <coughs> no. Without sale, that will be very interesting mm -hmm. for the See, 
we are discussing about parametric and non parametric now see there we divide our statistical techniques into parametric and non parametric mm -hmm. parametric in case of interval ratio scale and in case of non parametric non parametric in any distribution and in any scale okay and these parametric statistics these parametric statistics are divided into two categories comparative statistics and relationship statistics these are divided into two categories comparative and relationship and i have mentioned first the smallest comparison can be the smallest type of comparison can be within two groups and the technique which is used to compare two groups is known as p test the technique which is used to compare two groups is known as p test suppose we are going to compare the speed of vehicles or the average of vehicles by the two different companies you selected 100 maruti vehicles and you selected 100 tata tata vehicles and you are going to which vehicle is more feasible mm -hmm. maybe small study i am giving an example so the p test is a statistical technique which is used to find out the significant difference between two samples if we want to compare any two samples but there are three different p tests which are in practice independent t test dependent t test and one sample t test yani we are going to discuss about t test why to compare only two but there are three different types of t test independent t test second one is dependent t test third one is one sample t test since all are t test all the three techniques will be used to compare two samples but all the three techniques will be used to compare two samples in three different ways let us start with the first independent t test independent t test is a statistical technique which is used to compare two independent groups independent t test is a statistical technique which is used to compare two independent groups suppose our title is we are taking a example from social science comparison of anxiety between males and females suppose you are comparing two groups male and which group is having more level of anxiety dependent t test let us take an example effect of meditation on anxiety and the hypothetical type for this was comparison of anxiety between males and females it means we are comparing two independent groups and here dependent t test is effect of meditation on anxiety it means we are compare here we are comparing two columns males and females here also we are comparing two columns that is pre test and post test and in between we are giving meditation but here the two groups are independent here dependent t test is a statistical technique which is used to compare two different scores of the same group mm -hmm. suppose you conducted a study on 30 subjects 30 male and 30 females total number of subjects is 60 60 means n is equal to 60 and scores are 60 here suppose you conducted this study on 30 subjects and these will repeat their post test here the total number of subjects will be 30 and scores will be 
is the difference made? Okay. So here we are comparing. This is known as survey study. It means independent t test is used to conduct surveys. You can conduct survey studies in the field of engineering also. Okay. Different type of surveys. You can compare. You can compare different countries. You can, can compare the production of different countries. But on the other hand, this dependent t test is used to compare, to, to conduct. What type of studies these are? Exactly. And effect of meditation. What type of studies? This is survey and this is experiment. Yeah. Effect of this on this. This is experiment. It means independent t test is used to conduct the survey studies. On the other hand, dependent t test is used to conduct the experiments. Is it okay? Next, one sample t test. One sample t test. In engineering, in any field, you have target or not target. You have target. Suppose I take it. Let us take an example of a company. There are 10 companies to produce cars mm -hmm. and they have target in a year every company should pr produce 1000 cars. Is it okay? How many companies you selected? 100. 100. 100 companies and your target is? 1000. 1000. Yani government of Germany gave target every company should produce thousand cars in a year and there are there are one two three these hundred companies first company produce one thousand twenty cars nine 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 cars and so on and we have to compare this whole Whole means production by all 10 companies by a target by a specified constant. It means, again I am repeating, please try to understand, independent t-test is used to compare two independent groups. Mm -hmm. Dependent t-test is used to compare two different scores of the same group. Same group. And one sample t-test is used to compare a group with a fix value. To compare a group with a single value and engine engineering and commerce and management field, this is mostly used. Again, I repeat independent test to independent groups. Mm -hmm. Dependent test, two different scores of the same group is experiment, and this is also known as survey. You are comparing, you are comparing a particular group with a fixed. Fixed. It means this is also a survey. Mm -hmm. It means out of all these three t-tests, that is independent t-test, dependent t-test, one sample t-test, two are used to conduct survey studies in the form of a comparative survey. That is independent t-test, first one and last one, that is one sample t-test. And this dependent t-test is used to conduct the experiment. Okay, now we will do all these three in detail by using both by using both that is excel as well as let us start with the first how many companies there are sorry let, let, simple example comparison of anxiety between female write down any i am and Entering the scores of, I am entering the scores of ten males. We don't see, we don't see here. It's uh, on the screen is different. Oh. There's on this matrix. Here. Females. How many males we are having in our hypothetical example? 30. 30 males. Write down randomly 30 scores in a single. Uh, 
any any arbitrary or yes any score we are discussing about the methodology okay these are the scores of 30 males scores of anxiety of 30 males and these are the scores of anxiety of females Is it okay? Can I done the comments? Go to data. And, uh, should we put the numbers the same number? No, no, any number. Now you can put any number. Now you can put any number. Now you can put any number. Is it okay? Yeah. Click on data. Click on data. Mm -hmm. You may see here also. Click on data analysis. Click on data analysis. Is it okay? Click on t-test two samples assuming equal variance. Click on T test two sample assuming equal. Is it okay? Yeah. Click on okay. Is it? Click on arrow in front of variable A one range. Okay. And select this mail. Select this means. And select this means. Is it okay? Yeah. Again click on the same arrow. Is it same? Hmm? Yeah. Click on another arrow. Click on another arrow and select all females, including the heading. Mm. Both including the headings, right? Yes, yes. Mm. Is it okay? Yeah, but I missed the headings part. Again, you can do. Select labels, opt for labels and click on OK. And click on OK. The output is same or not? Yes. Is it is it clear or not? Yeah. Huh? Is it the same output or not? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now how to interpret the results? How to interpret the Interpretation of objects. T statistics is this. This is not significant. It is higher than 0 0.05. It means, say, see the means. Here is 6.58, there is 6.20. See my mean. But T test says that there is no difference between the Anxiety level of males and females, both for this is the for this is for this is the same level of anxiety. Mm -hmm. Any doubt in this? We have discussed about the complete application of independent t test only by using Excel. These are very useful techniques.
it is it's very difficult to understand or learn by the help of different books any doubt um, interpretation part i yes. still still do not get it always see the significance level at two day always see and you can stay with this and you can make it raise two tail this two tail and select this on the basis of this you have to interpret by this mm -hmm. if, uh, if this value is less than 0.05 mm -hmm. difference is there uh, but in your case it should be less than 0.01 why we see at 0.05 and 0.01? Since social scientists and engineering scientists fix to that, mm -hmm. there is no statistical rule about that. Yes, they believe that you are 99% confident. They decided that at their own. Mm -hmm. There is no scientific logic behind that. Mm -hmm. So, if you conduct in your language, if you conduct study at 99% confidence level, there is no difference. Mm -hmm. If you conduct this study at 95% confident, that is, there is a difference. difference. Since this value is less than 0 0.05, in that case we can say that significant difference occurs between the anxiety level of males and females. Mm -hmm. At 0 0.05 level of confidence. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the confidence uh, level or significance level we have to decide ourselves. Yes, but we can't conduct any study at 96% confidence interval 97. Only we have to conduct either on 0 0.01 or 0 0.05. 0 0.01 or 0 0.05. Yes. In any field, in your field you will find you will in top journals, in Scopus index journals, in Web of Science index journals, you will always find engineering researches. Which which are conducted on? 0 0.05. 1 0 1. No, 0 0 1. Yes. Social science is 0 0.05. What is the concept between this point zero? Mm -hmm. Suppose the hundred percent confidence is known as one. Suppose. Mm -hmm. Clear? Then five percent ah, error is take this point zero five. Okay, now I if one percent error is there, that's point zero one. Total is this. This is a concept? Yeah, deviation from the total. Yes, it means it is our confidence level and it is our significance level. Confidence level is 95, significance level is 5%. Means 0 0.05 level. If the confidence level is 99% and significance level is 1%, 1%, 0 0.01. This is the concept in your field. Okay. Now, we will proceed to the next technique, but now we will proceed very slowly, since you are actively participating, so we will proceed very slowly. Mm -hmm. Next is, this is, we will start from application of dependent t-test. Application of, if you want to write, I will, be, I will feel confident if you write, write about that. Application of dependent t-test. Application of dependent t-test. Application of the independent test. Okay. We will frame a title. Write down the title. We will frame a title. Any title you can take. Simple. We can take the same title. Effect of meditation on anxiety. Effect of meditation on anxiety. Effect of meditation on anxiety. In experimental studies, since you conduct experimental studies more, mm -hmm. engineers conduct experimental studies more in comparison to survey studies. I am taking social science example. You may effect of talk on this different types of studies you may you may conduct. So, in this, you should know the concept now the concept of independent and dependent variable. Mm -hmm. The concept of independent and dependent variable. The independent variable is known as treatment. The independent variable is known as treatment. 
and in our hypothetical example, the independent variable is we are not discussing uh, about male female. How we are? Uh, independent variable enzyme. Why enzyme? Treatment. Effect of meditation uh, on anxiety. What is treatment? Meditation. Meditation is treatment. Mm -hmm. You are giving a treatment. You are giving meditation. Is there an effect of meditation? Oh, okay. Meditation on anxiety. Yes. Our hypothetical example is effect of meditation on anxiety. In this, the treatment is known as independent variable or in this hypothetical example treatment is meditation. Meditation means this is also known as intervening variable. Intervene, intervening variable. Mm -hmm. This intervene. This is known as intervening variable. Okay. On the other hand, dependent variable is a variable that depends on independent variable the intervention depends on intervention that is known as anxiety anxiety dependent variable in this hypothetical example independent variable is meditation dependent variable is anxiety ok leave it now objective write down the objective also write down the objective also the objective of the study shall be to find out the effect of meditation on anxiety. The objective of the study shall be to find out the effect on anxiety. Okay. Effect of meditation on anxiety. But how? In bracket, in bracket, in front of this, you can write down in a statistical language. The uh, means to find out the difference between the pre-test and post-test means. In fact, how we came to know? Our objective is to find out the effect of meditation on anxiety. Mm -hmm. Then it means to find out the difference between pre and post. Mm -hmm. If difference exists, there is effect. If no difference, there is no effect. Mm -hmm. So the objective of the study shall be to find out the significant difference between the pre-test and post-test means. It is hypothesized that there shall not be any significant difference between the pre and post scores. It is hypothesized that there shall not be any significant. We are we are formulating a hypothesis. It is hypothesized that there shall not be any significant difference between the pre test and post test means of anxiety. Of anxiety. Is it clear? Is it clear? Okay. It means we formulated title, we formulated objective, we formulated hypothesis, and we formulated. formulated hypothesis. Objective? Yes. Dependent, independent. Yes. Now, design uh, of the study. The application is. Application. Is, is application is. Independent dependent t test is a statistical technique which is used to find out the significant difference between the two different scores of the same group. We have discussed mm -hmm. earlier application. Okay, we did it. Okay. We have discussed earlier. Mm -hmm. Now last part, design of the study. Design. Design of the study. This is design. This is the design. This is the design. Design means this design is known as a repeated measure design. The repeated measure design will be used to conduct this study. The repeated measure design will be used to conduct this study. Repeated means we are taking two different observations with respect to time, pretest of anxiety. Suppose one month meditation, then post test. This is known as repeated measure design. Mm -hmm. And but what was the design there? This is repetition of the scores. Repeated. This is known as static group comparison design. This design is known as static. Static means no moment. Static group comparison design. There are two groups which are static in nature. This is known as static group comparison design. 
Is it okay? Now, analysis by Excel. Analysis by Excel. Analysis by Excel. Analysis by Excel. We will match the scores since we are writing everything. Okay. So yes. we have to in Excel sheet we have to enter all the scores in the two columns. We have enter all the scores in the two columns. In the first column, pre-test scores will be entered. Mm -hmm. In the second column, post-test scores will be entered. In the first column, pre-test scores will be entered. In the second column, post-test scores. And we are going to conduct a study on 30 subjects. And all the 30 subjects will give the same post-test scores also. Mm -hmm. So total number, number of subjects will be 30. And total number of scores will be 60. Okay, write down. We will write 67, 56, 78, 59, 57, 58, 59, 43. And now these are the 30 scores of pretest. After 50, after pretest, suppose one month meditation training is given to them. And after one month we are going to measure post test. So we will write. Sixty nine. 96, 59, 53, 66, 61, 63, 49, 44, 66, 54, 67, 63 59 I missed it. Yes. Yes. I missed something. I'm now in the wrong column. 66 is 65. 60 um, line 15 I am. 61 63 49 44 66 66 54 Yes. 67 yeah, but uh, 
67 in front of 21. Mm. Yes, but I've got in the first row, I've got 65 in there. I've got 65. Mm. On 24th, 85. 66. 46. 59, 58, 61, and 46. I have made these hypothetical data to find out the effect. It means yes, there will be effect. Yeah. We formulated in su such a way that there will be effect. Change. Okay, change. Any doubt? Okay. Write down the commands. Uh, no, I'm, I'm not doing this. Uh, yes, you can write. 60. I have to check it. Mistake. 59. 66. 47. 49. 43. 49. 64. 66. 64. This one is missing here. I am going to speak. Listen. Pre test. Six seven. No no wait, I've got it now. Five three. I've got a one more thing there. That's why I found the mistake, yeah. Sixty nine. It's so hard to see also. 20. Or 20 is 63. Delete. This one I delete, this one I remove. 54, okay. 67, 63, because we need one more then. 59, because we've got 30 and there's a uh, label on top. What? When you go down, how many yes, scores you've got? We have to take one more. Yes, yeah. you are right. Yes. Since one is level, 31 scores. Write down 56, 56 and 59. Write down 56. 56 and 59. Okay. Is it okay? Now I've got it, yes. Okay. Now write down the commands. Go to data, click on data, click on data, mm -hmm. click on data analysis, click on data analysis, click on select this. Click on t-test paired to sample for means. T-test paired to sample for means. Here, uh, paired there two samples. Mm -hmm. Equal variance. Yes, equal variance. Okay. Click on OK. Click on OK. In the same manner, in the same manner that we have done in case of independent t-test, mm -hmm. by click on Clicking on arrow, select first three. Select opt for label also, opt for label also. Is it okay? No. You may ask. If you have any doubt, you may ask. Okay. Report okay, it's not coming. Who is wrong? Ah, hypothesized yeah. mean difference we have to put in. Huh? Levels, levels. Yeah. Okay. 
Click on OK. I did. And it, it, ah, it does not come with mean. Did you check the levels? Levels I had. You don't put mean difference inside? I should go now to you. OK. T-test. Must have the same number of data points. And then maybe I selected them wrong. Ah, I was selecting them wrong. OK, OK. Then comes. I've got it. This is output. Yeah, interpretation of the results. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's extend this. This will be based on critical value of. Sorry, this is based on this two tail test. P value of two tail test. This is it means E zero it means point zero eight times zero. All this expansion you know very well in in, in yeah. expansion of this. Another way is another way is you may write this is the most important concept. Either this value should be less than point zero five. It is less than zero point zero five. It is less than point zero five. If we expand this. Okay. Second one is this is the critical value and this is the calculated value. This should be lower than this. This should be lower than this. I've got different. Uh, but th this I've is. I've got different results. Oh, how counts? You have different results. No problem. You may take your own score also. You may take. See, yeah, that's got different this size. This is the T value minus seven, mm -hmm. and this is the required value. Mm -hmm. If this T value is higher than this, significant difference is there. Show me that Excel sheet. Yeah. Share, it, please. Yes. This is the critical. You click here. The this critical one. is point two point zero four. Okay. This but one you need. Okay. Uh, no, there are two concepts. Yeah. Either this t value, either this t value should be higher than this. Two ten. Yes. No. Critical value. I no. It's really today. It's not so running. I now pressed on this. Uh -huh. Yes. So since since this this value is minus five is higher than this, ignore sign. Ignore the sign. Yeah. Or this critical two tail should be less than point zero five. It is also less than point zero five. Since yeah, yeah, it's minus uh, a lot of okay. dots. Okay. There are two methods. Again, I repeat. Either two tail, either two tail, either this critical. Well, either this should be less than 0.05 yes. or this should be higher than Say the names. Please say the names of this so and that. We discuss the, uh, the signs. Yes. Like, we have to ignore the signs. So just uh, magnitude. Yes, magnitude. Why, why we ignore the signs? This is... In this software, in, in this inbuilt software, this is the difference between means. Difference between means. Mm -hmm. And difference between means cannot be... Then, 
that, that will always be positive or negative. In this, if the low mean is in the first column and high mean in the second column, that will be given in a minus sign. There is no, uh, it creates no difference. You can take this column here also or here also. Mm -hmm. So, it is an error of the software. Mm -hmm. okay. Always, T test cannot be in negative. Okay. T test cannot be negative. Ignore sign. No. Ignore sign. So, what is, was it? Either T stat should be smaller than critical values at 2 tail. Then, then, we can take our decision on the basis of 2. We can take decision on the basis of 2. 2 tail? No, no, not 2 tail. On the basis of 2. Right. First one is, first one is, the calculated T should be higher than critical value. The calculated T, the calculated T should be higher than critical T at 2 tail. Yes, it is there. It is in fact, it is post test improved. Yeah. Second way is. Wait, then critical 2 tail. Yeah. Yes, critical 2 tail. The calculated T value should be, calculated T value should be higher than the critical, critical values at 2 tail. Okay, second option is, we can, this is really same. Second option is, the significance level of 2 tail should be less than 0.05 mm -hmm. should be less than 0.05 that's all that's all second, second, second one I second one is the critical value please sorry the you think the level, level of two tail should be less than 0.5 this one uh, should, should be less than uh, calculated value no, no, less than 0 0.05. And the significant the value one, is now this? Concept number one. PT. To take decisions. This T value should be higher than critical value. First concept. This I wrote, this value mm -hmm. has to be less than T stat. Okay, it's just Yes, one. okay, opposite. Okay, second one is the P. P means significance. P, mm -hmm. the word P means significance. significance. The significance at two tail should be lower than 0 0.05. Should be lower than 0 0.0. Yes, it means it in this in this e minus zero it means after zero uh, after point there are eight zeros. Mm -hmm. Is it okay? Yeah, I got it. Mm -hmm. This this has to be uh, less than point zero five. Zero five. Yes, but or point zero one. Point zero one. And, uh, but this is significance at both levels. Okay. At point zero one also, point zero five also. Oh we should keep in your mind. The value which is significant at point zero one level of significance that will always be significant at point zero five. It's understood. Mm -hmm. The value which is significant at point zero one will be significant at zero five in any case. Yeah. Yes. So this is a decision of the researcher. This is a Take it off. Make it make it here different. Make it different. It's off. Okay. So now we have this, we have to discuss this by using dependent t-test by using SPSS dependent t-test by using SPSS dependent t-test by using and you will get all your answers not only you, we get our answers key which in some techniques Excel is good in some techniques SPSS is good now Go to SPSS, go to SPSS and from Excel, from this sheet, from this sheet 1, copy all 60 scores, 30 for free, without label, without heading. Copy this, okay? And paste to SPSS. In the data view, paste to SPSS into data view. Paste here. But I've still got the other ones. It's so hard. To... No problem. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to do the best of them. Yes, 
from this Can chair. Can you put your name in this data? You have posted it. See, it's going to be tennis. Sixty-seven, fifty-six, seventy-eight, eighty-nine. Yes, don't talk. This is I'm trying to get this stuff here. Okay. That's a t-test. Compare notes. Okay. 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 It's time to t-test. Oh, 
retest. Uh, we go, we up, we up some, some options. We go or not? No, there is no need to go on the option. There is uh, no need. Okay, let yes. me go. On. Click on OK. Click on OK. Okay. Click on OK. The output output will be in front of you. See the output. The output will be in front of you. The output and now interpretation of results. Oh, wait, we can wait. They are not ready. Mm -hmm. okay, okay. I need also time. in front of you. See, we are comparing only one pair pre versus post. Mm -hmm. We have 30 scores in pre, 30 scores in mean of this is 61, mean of this is this. Mm -hmm. And that t value is minus 7, it means we have to ignore the sign. Answer is same. We are also it is seen this. And significance is 0 0.00, it means significant, it means by the help of meditation, anxiety improves. Okay, there is a difference between the three types, pre and post test scores. In medical sciences, in biomedical researches, did this technique is used in biomedical researches? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. Uh, Take your own time. In the interpretations, yes. um, which uh, in the first uh, when we are doing same that, in the same same we yeah. have to in that in Excel there are two options. Two options. Ki value of calculated t should be higher than the critical value. Critical values. No provision there. No provision here. Mm -hmm. Second option is same. Mm -hmm. Second option is the same. That is two tailed significance level should be less than 0.05. Second, second okay. is yes. So the here in this we can really conclude since the t value of 7.13 after ignoring the sign is significant at 0 0.05. It is less than 0 0.055. So, there is a difference between the past post test and pre test. It means this show, this hypothetical example shows that anxiety improves, maybe decreased, maybe decreased, but, but in this hypothetical example, anxiety improves. Okay, in this exa hypothetical example. Yes, you have all on this. Uh, I will tell you the in a PDF in PDF format. You can get the. That is very nice. Yes, yes. Because today we capture something, and mm -hmm. we also want to uh, try to use it. Here. Now, is it okay? Can we proceed further? Yes. Statistical technique number three: one sample t test. One sample t test. Statistical three technique number three: one sample t test. One sample t test. No. This one. What was one done? Sample t test. No, what was done is he's yes. checking that. Okay. Okay. Title. Hypothetical title. Comparison of anxiety of Trayer University students. Comparison, see the example. Comparison of the anxiety layer of Trayer University 
students with the anxiety level of the prime minister of germany <laughs> with the anxiety level with the anxiety level of the prime minister of germany it means one side you are having singer and one side you are having a okay. but before that before title application write down the application before title write down the application one sample t test is a statistical technique which is used to compare a group with a specified constant to compare a group with a single value mm -hmm. to compare a group with a norm to compare a group with a target a single value may be norm may be target may be specified constant everything then title is after application title is comparison of anxiety of clear university students with the anxiety of the prime minister of germany Okay. Suppose, suppose this one. The objective. Without saving in this. Okay. Suppose hmm. we will do Excel later. First, start from S places. We are changing since. First time I am calculating on Excel. So first we will calculate on SPSS. SPSS. Yeah. I didn't calculate this technique by Excel. Never. So first we will match the results. Mm -hmm. Okay. But uh, I think this facility is not available on this technique is not available on Excel. Only three T tests are available there. This test T test is not available. Mm -hmm. Okay. So directly by SPSS. Remove this score. Uh, second one. Yes. And these are the 30 students. Anxiety. This, these are the scores of the anxiety of the Trayer University students. Okay. And on the other side, side suppose the anxiety level of the Prime Minister of Germany is 61. Suppose, we are not supposed to write here. On paper, write down 61. Other side, this is 61. Anywhere you can write down 61. Suppose we are writing here 61. This is the anxiety level. Of we are comparing 30 scores with the single score. Okay. But this will not be used. This will create a confusion. Hmm. To remember, I wrote that. We should not write that. Uh -huh. We uh, delete this complete column. Yes, complete. We are not supposed. To. Okay. What is our specified constant? Sixty-one. Sixty-one. So write down the commands. Write down the commands. Go to analyze. Go to analyze, go to compare means, go to compare means, 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 see, select one sample t test, select one sample t test and click on one sample t test up to there, any doubt, no doubt, bring, bring anxiety score in that testing variable. Bring anxiety score in the testing variable and write down that fixed value in the test value. Our test value is 61. Write down 61 here. Mm -hmm. This is the final. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, click on OK. Whether we want to re repeat or there is no need to repeat? Uh, just a little bit slow. Is there a need to repeat? Then we can repeat. We can repeat. No, I just have to click it. Okay, okay. Click on okay. See the others.
these are the roots. Now we will discuss this technique in detail, starting from the first disc. Our title was okay. Comparison of Anxiety of Tear in Students with Anxiety Level of Objective. The objective of the study shall be the objective of the study shall be to find out the difference between the anxiety level of to find out the difference between the anxiety level of tear in females and Anxiety level of Prime Minister of Germany. Next one is Hypothesis. 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 It is hypothesized that there shall not be, it is hypothesized that there shall not be any significant difference between the anxiety level of they are university students and the anxiety level of the Prime Minister of Germany. Okay. Next one there is shall not be significant difference. There shall not be significant difference between the anxiety level of their university students and the anxiety level of the Prime Minister of Germany. Now, design of the study. What was the design in the first case? Um, Static group comparison design. Yeah. What was the design in the second case? Uh, repeat repeat, repeat, repeat another design. This is single group design. This design is known as single group design. Single group design. This design is known as single group design. This design is known as single group design. Okay. Now the last important part, interpretation of the results. Interpretation. The result shows that the calculated value of 0.39 is insignificant since this value is higher than 0 0.05. No significant difference occurs between the no significant difference occurs between the anxiety layer of tier university students and the anxiety level of the Prime Minister of Germany. Uh, so the same, the same, same interpretation like before. Yes. So this is T value is... Uh, yes, yes. In all cases, cases we have to compare it. In all three. Okay. Interpretation is same. T is at the moment I, so there is no significant difference. No T is not higher. Ah, this one we had here. We are, we are not supposed to see T higher okay. or lower. Significance level is less, higher than the point zero five. Sig not T. Significance uh, This two tail significance is higher than point zero five. So there is no need to see this. Okay, so that's the first. Yes. Then four one of the teachers. So mean anxiety level of students has got, has and minus is. I've got it wrong. Yes. So, we have discussed in detail about three statistical techniques. We have discussed in detail about three statistical techniques. Now, we will increase the difficulty index of our discussion. Yeah, but we take a new example, please. I've got wrong data here. I get all different results. We need a different example. We cannot carry on with this. Uh, or check it if you got this. Mother, I checked it. No, you can you can see the data here. You can see the data here. Should I say it loud? Can match this first. It's not coming. Sixty-seven. Sixty-seven is not coming. Oh. 
Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Sixty-seven. You, you want to carry on with this example, no? Yes. Yeah, because all is wrong. Well, I don't. I don't know. There must be typing wrong. I didn't find Shall it. Shall I say? You will check it. Yes, we checked it already. Sixty-seven, fifty-six, seventy-eight. Please, 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 please. There is no need to match my results. Yeah, you but they are different, different things. Yes, yes. The different outcomes. But it's, if, if, I've got a lot of things to do, and if I also have to check which which okay. which is your result and which is my result, okay. it makes more trouble. It's okay, already very listen. fast. I'll read it. Yes, and please, then read it. 67, 67 56, 56, 78, 78 89, 89, 76, 65, 57, 68, 68, 91, 57, 49, 65, 58, 59, 47, 39, 69, 40. No, 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 39, 64. Ah. 53, hmm. 65. Yeah. Ah, but then I changed it again. It's, you should have done this beforehand. Hmm. 62. Read the rest also. No, we have to. We carry on with this example? No, we don't need it anymore. Document. No need. Uh -huh. then, we leave, then we leave it just like it was. Then I have got a different example. Maybe we will continue to do this later. Yeah. One one way sample t test is done. There will be more t test? No. No, all t tests we have discussed. We go now ANOVA. Yes, we will. We have different data anyway. Yes. Then there's no need for this. Okay. In the comparative category, we discussed about only one type of technique that is to compare two groups. The technique which is used is known as t test. Now, to compare more than two groups. To compare more than two groups. That technique which is used to compare two groups is known as T test. On the other hand, the technique, the statistical technique used to compare more than two groups is known as ANOVA, analysis of variance. This is known as analysis of variance. Conventional methods. <laughs> like this. This thing just doesn't work. Yeah, I don't. You know. Conventional. <laughs> we have to use analysis of variance. Since the t-tests are divided into three main parts, there are there were three different types: independent t-tests, dependent t-tests, one sample t-tests in the same form, ANOVAs are of different types, and this is what they are. It means more than two groups can be compared into different forms, into different shapes. Let us start with the first one-way analysis of variance. Let us start with the first one-way analysis of variance. All are used to compare more than two groups. One way. Um, when you say more than two groups, uh, how do we uh, visualize this one? This, uh, for, for now, we have uh, did uh, analysis on pre-test, post-test. Not pre -test. That is on. on we, we will do. First, we started from independent pre-test. We compared male and female. Mm -hmm. Male and female. Male and female. Male and female. Means two independent groups. Two independent groups. Yes. In the same way, in one way or application of one way or What was the application of independent pre-test? The independent t-test is a statistical technique used to compare two independent groups. Mm -hmm. One way ANOVA is a statistical technique used to compare more than two independent groups. Mm -hmm. One way analysis of variance is a statistical technique used to compare more than two independent groups. What was that? In simple words, this is one way ANOVA is an extension of independent t-test. Mm -hmm. In independent t-test, how many groups were there? Two male and female. Male and female. Title, hypothetical title. Comparison of anxiety between arts, commerce and science students. Mm, so now the group number has been 
that were 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Our hypothetical example is comparison of anxiety between arts, commerce and science. Is it okay? No. Objective. Now objective. The objective of the study shall be to find out the difference, significant difference among the means of science and art, science and commerce students in relation to anxiety. Is it okay? In relation to anxiety. Is it okay? Yeah. Hypothesis. It is hypothesized that there shall not be any significant difference among the anxiety level of arts, commerce and science students. Okay. In the hypothesis we said there is no significant difference. And all, we hope all will be equal. All will be equal. Yes. And uh, when we get the result, there is some difference. Then our conclusion would be no, there is some significant yes. difference. The, the, our hypothesis, our previous assumption may be rejected, may be accepted. Mm -hmm. so we Results may be according to our assumption, may not be according to our assumption. Okay. Design of the study. Design of the study. Design will be same in independently test. There were two groups in this. That was also static group comparison design. This is also static group comparison design. Static. In, in that, there were two static groups, male, female. Yes. In this, there are three static groups. With male, female, both. Means arts, commerce, science. Yeah. And also male and female. No, there is no need. Okay. There is no need. That will create a confusion. Okay. And we have science students, arts students. There is no discussion of gender. Okay. Okay. Now, how to analyze data? How to analyze? It means first we should we will start from Excel. First we will start from Excel. In one column we will take 30 slowly we will try. We have to head it. In Excel, heading will be Arts, Commerce and Science. The headings will be Arts, Commerce Science. The headings will be these three. Arts, Commerce and Science. Okay. We will take how many subjects we have taken in independent test? 30. No, 16. No, 16. 16. 30 mm -hmm. males. In this, we will take 30 art students, 30 commerce students, 30 science students. Okay. Since this is extension, in that also there were two independent groups, male and female. In this also there are three independent groups, arts, commerce and science. Mm -hmm. You can write down. Yes, we put together. Hmm? We do together. Yes. Slow. Yes. 45, 56, 43, 54, 65, 56, 71, 52, 43, 56, 78, 45, 59, 66, 41, 78, 54, 67, 
56, 55, 72, 75, 66, 72, 49, 47, 56, 45, 54, 56. These are the 30 scores for arts. Right. I, I should increase my speed or this speed is also? Mm, can be more, can, can be more. more. Oh, okay. You've got a sum of this? Hmm? We can make a sum. I've got, if you no. check, then we check it if it's the same or there are mistakes right. on the side. Mm -hmm. I will no, no, I didn't. Okay. And then to check it if we got the same. Yes, we can. 1732? Yeah, I know. I've got 1722. 1732. What you've got? What is the sum? Again, oh, okay. I don't know where. Really okay, then it. I will tell you again. Please Just do it. Forty-five. Yeah. Fifty-six. Check check these ones here. Forty-three, fifty-four. Nay, no, I'm telling, and you check it. I I said just the numbers. Okay. But I'm changing them. Mm -hmm. Four five. Mm -hmm. Five six. Mm -hmm. Four three. Mm -hmm. Five four. Mm -hmm. Six five. Mm -hmm. Four five six. Mm -hmm. Seven one. Mm -hmm. Five two. Mm -hmm. Four three. Mm -hmm. Five six. Mm -hmm. Seven eight. Mm -hmm. Four five. Yeah. Five nine, mm -hmm. five six, six six, six six. six, six. Yes. Then I, mm, but I don't know where it is. Oh God. Where was the six six? After fifty nine. Yeah. Okay. Fifty six, six six. Then comes forty one. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. I've got it then. You got it. Sum is one seven three two. Yes. Okay. Good. It's good. Certainly checked again. <laughs> yes. Next one is six seven. Six seven. Six seven. Seven five. Seven five. Six nine. Six nine. Six six. Six six. Five eight. Five eight. Four nine. Four nine. Four five. Four five. Six two. Six two. Six nine. Six nine. Six seven. Six seven. Five nine. Five nine. Five seven. Five seven. Five eight. Five eight. Five nine. Five nine. Five five. Five five. Six five. Six five. Six three. Six three. Okay. One nine sixty one. Sum. Yeah, nice. no problem. That's okay. Yes. Last group.
Okay, good. Okay, delete this last one, otherwise it will create a problem. Yes. Delete this. This is data entry is complete. Write down the commands. Write down the commands. For this, is a, this is a difficult technique and this is the most commonly used technique and it, it's very interesting. You will find like effective results. We do Excel or we do SPSS? We have typed in Excel, so we will do Excel. Okay. I type anything in Excel. Mm. Okay. Mm. Now, go to data. Go to data. Select first one, ANOVA single factor. separately, male separately, female separately, breed separately, both separately. In this, by click on, clicking on an arrow, we have to select all together. We have to select all together. And the same level. Click on arrow again. Label in the first row. Okay. Uh, what did you label, sir? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah, labels, okay. Label means arts, commerce, science. These are known as labels. Mm -hmm. No, but he got there something I don't have. Mm -hmm. Here? Okay. Where did you get this? Ah, let's get to set it. Finish this. For example, you click here. How can you skip this? Can you skip this? output and our single factor groups see in front in front of us there are three groups arts commerce science counts 13 arts 13 commerce 13 science mm -hmm. some average variance everything is yani this so the final this technique is this since this value is less than 0.05 and 0.1 significant difference occurs among all these three groups significant difference occurs with among arts commerce and students okay this is what so here is the p band hmm? here is the p band with there also p p means significance the word p means significance everywhere in excel also in spaces also p means significance this is a symbol of significance. What, what was the analysis? Analysis. Go to data. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, here, the, what did we say about? P value. No, what do you say? The results. Results name. These are results. What, what do we write about them? The F value of 9.78 is significant at 0.05 level. 
B is equal to 0.000. This B should, I cannot write that fast. This is? The F value? Of 9.788. Yes. Is significant. At 0 0.05 level. F. Level, yes. In bracket you can write down P is equal to P is equal to point zero zero zero. P is equal to point zero zero. Where is it standing? There zero zero one four six. Mother, put it on your finger on it. I saw it. Yeah, that is there. This one. Yeah. This, ah. Zero 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 four one okay. four six. Mm -hmm. P value. So, here so F value is significant at 0 0.5 level, yes? That means P is less than 0 0.05 here. 0 0.5. Or 0 0.1 mm -hmm. or 0 0.01. Yes, you can write in. Yes. Only significant at this level. That, that shows significant difference occurs between three words? That shows... Significant difference occurs between three groups. Okay. Okay. Yes. Now, analysis by using SPSS. Just one question. Uh, we what are these uh, between the groups, within the groups, and SS and DF? Those are not required. SS means sum of squares. Okay. Between the groups means between the groups. We have three groups. Yeah. Between. Okay. Among. Within means within variance. Mm -hmm. If the between group variance is higher than the within group, scatteredness and the not scores is within group also. Mm -hmm. If the among means between groups is more than among means, that means there is significant in the statistics. It means that there is a significant difference, otherwise, no significant difference is there. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, as analysis by using SPS. copy all scores, copy all these scores without label, without label. It means copy these 90 scores and P play paste these 90 scores in the data view. Paste these 90 scores in the data view. Is it okay? And this delete this output without shame. Otherwise it would kill. This is this is the first. This is the first. Now Listen carefully, it's not final. First line, we should write all the scores of three different groups will be typed in the, will be entered in the single column. First line. All the scores will be entered in the, difference is that in Excel, in how many columns we have entered the scores? Two. Three. In this, we have to enter all the scores in the single column. Ah. This is very useful for engineering researchers. Okay. This is the first phase. We type. Okay? So it's a continuous, no break in between. No break in between. In the first column, how many scores we are having? 90. 90. First 30 are? Uh, ask. Okay. Compute to do not know. Give one. One. One means, we are giving label, one means, write one in front of 30 scores. Write one in front of 30 scores. In our example, one means? Hearts. Hearts. You may take any. One, hundred, one thousand, you may define. But this is the smallest. You may take zero also. Mm -hmm. And we are giving two to 
we are giving two level two commas next thirty means up to the sixty. Okay. We cannot drag and drop this. Like yes, we can drop. Yes, in the same manner, copy and drag this. Copy and okay. Now data entry in the data view is complete. Now the data entry in the data view is complete. Data entry in the data view is complete. For commerce and commerce is two. I don't know. One, two, three. One means arts. One means arts. Arts two means commerce. Three means science. Okay. Okay. But how uh, this? Uh, uh, so we will identify. You want me in this? We have to define. Wait. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. This is the first. Yani, we have completed this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because I am talking. Mm -hmm. Should we proceed further? Mm -hmm. Yes, we can do that. Yes. Now go to second, second step. Go to variable view. Go to variable view. How many columns we are using? Two. Columns two. What in one in first column? What is there? Scores. Anxiety. Hmm. Anxiety. Right. Anxiety here. In the second column, since we have selected from three subjects, these are subjects. Subjects. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it okay? Mm -hmm. Is it okay? In the first column, we have the score of anxiety. In the second column, we have the subject. Okay. Third part, step number three. Step number three. Step number three. In how many categories we have divided subjects? Three. Three. So this is the most important. In front of the row of subject, click on values here. See, see. Click, click. Uh, I am clicking. See here. Click on values. This will appear. This is step three. This is step three. Click on value. This will appear. Mm -hmm. Huge complex calculation calculations we can do in seconds. Only you should know the command. Your co complex calculations. You require scientific calculators and so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, how many labels we have given? Three. Three. Here. Tell software that write one in front of the value and give label one to arts. It means the software will recognize one means arts. Arts. Add these. Add these. Add these. And perform perform same for remaining two. That is for two and three. Perform same for remaining. It means two means commerce. Commerce. Again add three means science add. Okay, next step. Is it okay? In case if there are some errors, for example, typing what errors. Is first one? Oh, oh. Yes, yes, you can correct. Several times you can correct. I cannot see this. Error. Six years no, no, no. I cannot this, see this. We are not supposed course. to start from the beginning. In between, you can change. At any step, you can change. It's very easy. Even that I can see it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, next is. 
click on ok here click on ok now activity of variable view is also completed activity on variable here we have completed two activities on data view as well as on variable view <coughs> next step i don't know which one six three four five i don't know which step is there now start uh, yeah. the same thing we can copy and paste also like for example the values yes we can copy paste we can copy paste and to uh, Should we start the analysis part? Okay. Hmm? Yeah, we can do hmm? analysis. Okay, write down the com next command. Okay, click on analyze. Click on compare means. Click on one way ANOVA. This this is understand. Click on one way ANOVA. This we require this window. Okay. Now I am going to click. I am clicking. This will require click. This will appear. See next part is this will appear. This will be output. Okay. In this. Bring anxiety in the dependent list. In this, bring anxiety in the dependent list and bring subject into the factor. Bring subject into the factor. Click on OK, the output will be in front of you. Click on OK, the output will be in front of you. and this will be the output and click on ok this will be the output compare both tables compare both tables everything is same everything see I am placing that table I am copying this uh, and I am placing this table in this uh, is there any difference between these two tables no. See both the see CSS within between groups within groups everything is okay result is same and this is the output this is the output now interpretation of results that will be same everything every sentence will be same means I am repeating the obtained f value of 9.7 is significant at point 0 5 level of significance in bracket p is equal to 0 0 0 p is equal to 0 not 0 point 0 0 not 0 point 0 0 point 0 0 okay right. so significant difference exists among the anxiety level of oh, arts, commerce, and science students. It's clear. Okay. We have completed this one way, only one way. There are different types of analysis of variances. We have done only one analysis of variance. That is one way and one. Can we have the, the result? The sentence again. The output value of f is significant as a level of the, the, the obtained value of 9.78. The obtained value. We obtained this. The obtained value of 9.78 is significant. In bracket, p is equal to 
less than 0.05. Uh, or the, uh, the obtained value of f 9.7 is significant at 0 0.05 level of significance in bracket p is equal to 0 0.00 mm -hmm. that will be better yes. Since, so there exists a significant difference among the anxiety level of arts commerce and science students it's clear but now this technique is very interesting Abhi, it doesn't does not end extension of the study takes place okay now you may write down if insignificant difference exists the study ends after the application of one way ANOVA if insignificant difference exists study ends there is no difference but if the significant difference exists, but if the significant difference exists, we have to extend the study. We have to extend the study. How many groups are there? Three. Three. These results show that significant difference exists between the three groups. But maybe there is a difference between arts and commerce but there may not be a difference between arts and science. If significant difference occurs, we have to extend the study. To extend the study, we have to compare paired means. How many possible pairs are there? Three. Only three pairs. A versus arts versus commerce, arts versus science, commerce versus science. Only the possibility three pairs. Only three pairs. It means, if the significant difference exists, we have we have to compare three pairs of means. Paired means, not three. Paired means. In bracket, there are three pairs in this hypothetical example. Three paired means. Three paired means. But appropriate sentences, we have to compare paired means. In bracket, we can write down in this hypothetical example, there are three possible pairs. Yani, we are discussing in general. Maybe group four, five, six. Always there will not be only three pairs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, so to compare paired means, post hoc test will be applied. So to compare paired means, post hoc test will be applied. We have to apply post hoc, post -hoc test. One important discussion. Analysis, one way analysis of variance can be applied in equal sample sizes as well as can be applied in unequal sample size. We have to write. This, how many subjects are there? 90. Means we have taken equal sample size, 30, 30. You may take 20, 30, 40. You may take. This technique can be applied by taking equal sample size as well as unequal. unequal sample size. Yes. We would write this at this point? Yes. At this point. Yeah, yes, no. here. Okay. Since we are going to apply post hoc test. Mm -hmm. no. You mean the post hoc test yes. can be mm, no, sampling no. or you mean the ANOVA? And, no. Madam, we are going to apply post hoc test. Mm -hmm. To know that, to know the application of post hoc test, we are going back. Analysis of variance can be applied in case of both the sample sizes. That is, that is equal sample size. Now, if equal sample size is used, now come to the conclusion. If equal sample size is used, we have to apply LSD post hoc test. If equal sample is used. We have to use LSD post hoc test. We have to use LSD post hoc test. Okay. LSD means in bracket you can write down least significant difference post hoc test. Least significant difference post hoc test. 
On the other hand, if unequal sample size is used, if unequal sample size is used, we have to use Scafi's test. We have to use Scafi's test. Scafi. Scafi's test. Okay. Now my question to you is: In our example, whether we are going to use LSD or Scafi? LSD. LSD. Since we are using equal sample size. LSD. Okay. Just one question here. Yes. Uh, this uh, LSD post hoc test. Uh, mm -hmm. Where does it? Is it coming from some uh, mm -hmm. mathematical? Yes. On the basis of mathematical calculations. Okay. You, uh, I can, we can uh, uh, discuss manually also, but it will take uh, one hour mm -hmm. to calculate this. Mm -hmm. Minimum one hour will be required. Mm -hmm. By the, or, uh, we also require calculators for additions. Uh, we have to square all scores. So we require sum of scores. Mm -hmm. First we will square, then sum will square. Okay. That will be a long process. Just want to know if this is uh, some uh, different. Yes. Another batch. This is it. These are based on mathematical steps, statistical steps. Step 1, step 2, step 3. First we have to square all scores. Mm -hmm. Then we have to sum the squares separately. Then... then so all those patches are combined together to test this. Yes. The, the output is based on the final result of that mathematical application. This is the final sheet. Okay. Now, we mm -hmm. should write... Yes. Can I ask one question? I've got here something with the Levine test, yeah, homogeneity of variances. No, this no, leave come, it. This will come later leave it, leave or it. it has nothing to do with this one? It, yeah, we have to do this. Leave it. Yeah. It will come. It'll come later. Other yes, test. It will, yeah, it, yeah. It, it will come. Because it will I come. need it later. Okay, yeah. it will come. Okay. Now try it on. Ah, because here this is really um, Calculation of post hoc test. Calculation of post hoc test. In a bracket, we can write down LSD. Since we are using LSD. Calculation. Calculation of post hoc test. Calculation of post hoc test. Okay. Delete this without saving. Delete this without saving. Okay. And go to this SP.